I'm on the block, sacked up, got twomps to kill. Curping out my sevenfold, fold, veil. No time to chill, I'm on the grind for real. What you want, what you need, trying to find some pills. Well, come holla at your neighborhood thug supply. Got everything that a nigga love to buy. It's me, MD. Skirting from the killer whales Black and white sis, always on a nigga tail But I'm hypo, nitro, keep the Chevy boat And I'm floating from sack to oak And bet the sack is smoking Nobody does it better, gangsta Mac Alright, Blackville, G, Blackville Oh yeah White outline Oh, we got it? Yeah Oh yeah Fucking, there's a security guard right here, okay? Yeah. Right by where the ladder that we're going up Oh yeah So we, we gotta go put the ladder up, we gotta be quiet all right. All right? Yep. Try to be quiet. Got it. <laughs> 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 you gonna <laughs> They say that like the goal of art is to make people feel something, right? Like that's what the goal of art is. So nobody said the anger wasn't like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, you know, if you're pissing them off and like, you know, you might see some fucking shitty throwy on your fucking garage, but you remember the name, you know? Yeah. And then like five years later, you see like the kid fucking is doing these huge billboards and like something looks nice, you might be like, damn, okay. oil-based paint is fucking like toothpaste uh-huh so you usually take a little bit of thinner and kind of try to get it so that it's a little bit easier to work with but it spreads like a motherfucker uh -huh. hey, I'm right back on they ass yo they done made me mad uh I've been keeping calm constantly keep making cash yo I've been getting bag after bag after bag yo presidential shit I wrap my Maybach mad black yo call me Mr. Glock shooters in the front and back Hip hop hop, get your tits hot from this hip hip hop hop. 
18, 5, 8, wear double XL, pants sagging, blunts dragging, benevolent, well, imagine, a felon on a two-way street, one way is where blood money, coke, and homicide meet, the other street, opportunity, the chance to live sweet, think positive, can knowledge make a cipher complete, so you can be an architect, design a park. You got beef with him, or you just like, so like He's writing the same name, yeah. Same name, and people be like, oh. sending me like his shit. In my DM, I'm like, that's not my shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just had to go over there and fucking smack some of his shit. It's hella disrespectful as a it's young... Territory, man. Yeah, yeah. As a young writer, though, like, you gotta check the, the hashtags, at least, you know? Like, yeah. And, like, make sure you do a little bit of research before you just start going for it, you know? Yeah. Well, I came in and did a guest spot first, and oh. then, uh... You know, I was, like, fresh out of prison. Like, right. fucking just did a six-year bid, and then, you know, like, coming in... Like, hey, can I work here? And it's like, oh, it's like, are you gonna be? Yeah, you're living in a halfway house right now. Like, but he took a chance. Yeah, yeah. And I stayed off the drugs, and now that's my guy. Did you tattoo in prison? Oh yeah, every day. Yeah. yeah. Is that how you made most of your money? Yeah, I actually like had all my tattoo equipment for myself when I got out, and this shit's expensive. Tattooed my celly. He's still in there. Tattooed his whole body. This shit was fun last night, though. The billboard. I'm glad I went out without any kind of like snags, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely the longest that we've been up there. How do you think you like uh, mix like? Your tattoos and graffiti, do they, they like beat off of each other? Oh, big time, yeah. You know, like when you paint and you do uh, cutbacks, you know, like you do cutbacks at the end, you do your shit like sharper and get it nice and tight and get those real skinny. Mm -hmm. Like that helped me to understand like in tattooing, like with your lines, you come back and clean them up, you know? You want to get like a good bold line but like the way to get that look is you come back with like a real tiny little single needle and just whip out all those points. But like I kind of like picked that up from doing graffiti. Why do you, why do you think uh, so many people hit like freeway spots around here, bro? Shit, I don't know. That's just kind of the thing here, you know? Freeway runouts are uh, Seattle's thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it gets a lot of action and gets seen, you know? Yeah, and it runs. And it runs, yeah. I seen your uh, guys' huge ass uh, roller in the parking lot. The MSP, MSP, MTA, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did that one with Nomos. Cost rolled open everything that night. Yeah. Like three times. Yeah. They shined the spotlight on the spot and everything. And you ran and then you came back? Exactly, yeah. We really scattered. You know, the poles were still on the wall, ladders. Yeah. <laughs> I came back. No must pulled my car that night. Like, come on, dog. Help me, just help me fill it in. Uh huh. I'm like, well, I work at six in the morning, but I'll, I'll thug it out. Uh huh. My boy was out there helping us. <laughs> Mike, check. We like pulled up to him. We're like, like, what's going on? Like, why are you like shooting at us? And he was like, I was like, why are y'all still my battery? And he was like, nah, we were like, we're just out here just like catching tags and shit. But I was like, we were going to press him, but it was like, well, it could go like both ways. Like, he got a gun, we don't got a gun. So it's like, well, yeah. It's like, I don't know. Cause like, a situation it like, might transpire. Yeah. I was like, we'll just come back and like, cause he's homeless. Like, he's not going to go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's, he's, like, he's looking for, he's tripping over a battery right now. Like, I just, know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your shit's not starting, bro. I should have brought that team forward. Like, I'm sorry. I'm gonna check out some spots. I'm gonna see what's over here. Oh. I'll come back. There's train yards, you gotta be careful in general because you never know when a train could just all of a sudden start. It could be chill, just depending where you're at. We could hear spray bay cans and spraying. So we're not the only ones in the, in the yard right now. 
you can tell a lot of people come here to write because there's not a lot of open spaces. I'm bound to go through the plat, came to destroy rap. It's an intricate plot of a b-boy strap. Fem stack cats get kidnapped. Then release a statement to the press. Let the rest know who did that. Metal fist terrorist, claim responsibility. Broken household name usually set in hostility. Um, what is MF, you silly? I like to take men to the end for two milli. Do -do 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 -do. That's an audio daily double. Rappers need to fall off just to save me the trouble, yo. Watch your own back, come in and go out alone, black. Stay in the zone, turn H2O to cognac. Damn, that's, that's like, huge. You know what I'm saying? Like this one right here. So go there. Like in the center. All right, so from like here, Or even like further if you can, but we'll see. Alright. Like, like over here. Okay. Um I would say probably about like around like the four thousand mark. What is it about trains that you just prefer? Uh like they just run for like forever until like they fade away. Yeah. Like they don't get buffed. They go to like Mexico, Canada, especially when like you see your stuff on freight and then you see that person come to your city and then they crush it. Yeah. It just like has like a little bit more like a wow effect. I feel like like when somebody comes and does that, you're like, okay, just not just freight, it's just a little everything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I try to like balance it between like bombing and freight, but like I really do just like paint freights. Like a lot of people just like, they just like focus on that one thing and they're just like really good at it. Uh -huh. I just don't know, it's addicting. <laughs> I was out walking around cashing tags and shit. On my skateboard, I cashed a little moniker on a towel concrete black wall. I turn around, there's a cop. Boop, boop. I start running up the steep ass hill and shit. He cops out, two cops start chasing me. I take a left on my board. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna start pushing on my board and shit. I start kicking my board down the street. He's on my ass, like 10 feet away from me. By the time I hit the corner of the block, I'm like, yep, this is my chance to go bomb down this hill. My dumb ass bombs down the hill and shit, and it's raining. I fucking slip 20, 10 feet prior down the hill. I roll, the skateboard's gone, that shit's like, going down the hill 15 miles per hour. Cops chasing up to me. I pick up with scabs on my elbow. Still running, take a left. The embarrassing part about it is a cop, lady cop got close, tackled my ass. And she tackled Took my shit to Dell, took all my spray paint down. all over a spray paint tag. Long story short, I came out with all my spray paint and still hit tags. <laughs> <laughs> Came out on top. <laughs> beat up by the lady cop. <laughs> Aggressive. Mrs. Officer. Yeah. <laughs> the, the dude cops let us slide. Yeah. Karen was coming for him. Yeah. <laughs> they took my shit. Never got it, but charge it to the game. Like, I'm literally covered in, like, tattoo ink and spray paint uh -huh. my entire life. Every day. Looking like a hobo. Yeah, I love uh, L.A. too. L.A. is another spot. It's like, uh... How you feel about the tower, man? Damn it. Oh, my God. That fucking tower. All right, so I was down there when, uh... I went down there with this kid, he, and El Photo on Instagram, right? And he's a little fucking explorer kid. He's he's a good friend of mine, but uh, you know, those explorer kids be just like climbing to the top of the fucking hotel, taking pictures and shit. Yeah. So I didn't really take the spot seriously. Yeah. You know, but he's telling everybody down there and uh, Suor from MTA was the first one to hit it. Very first one to go and get it. And it was because he was friends with that kid. So we were down there, and uh, he wanted to go and do the spot. There, there's some fools hit it before him, but they hit the inside. Yeah. Like two or three years ago, and that shit didn't rock, and this will hit the outside. Right, but it was because that kid was there talking about it. That kid was there fucking like, oh, go to the tower and explaining how to get in and shit, and like, he wanted to do the train. 
Oh, yeah. But, like, I just was like, yeah, you know? And then fucking it turned into this crazy-ass thing because Suor hit it and then Endem was, like, one of the next ones to go and uh, yeah. did the NCT big on there. But it was because this kid was down there talking about us. So, like, every time I see it, I'm like, fuck, I should have went and done that fucking yeah. tower. I got the outside rocking right now. Yeah, he went down yeah. there and got yeah. it, yeah. Oh, you can't fucking yeah. miss the BN dub. You can't <laughs> even fucking try to miss that. That fucker's we old. Popped, we popped it off, and then the OTRs, the MTAs did it bigger and fucking more solid. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. The it's like we did the first, like, what, nine stories right there? Like, when I hit it, we had to, that shit was a mission just to get in there. Yeah. That, it was the night of the Grammys, too, so. Oh, that, you did it then? Yeah. <laughs> And then like um, we low key just like the cops were following us, and then we went behind the tarp and just hopped it right there, just hopped in there. Uh -huh. But when you got in there, there's still like two or three security in there, so you have to run to the staircase. Uh -huh. But once you get to like the second, third floor, you're good because it's so big. It's like a huge ass fucking compound, you know. But yeah, you're walking in there, running into like all kinds of riders right there. I think pain in uh, growing up and pain in LA that shit got me traumatized, to be honest. Oh yeah, I bet. And then like everyone was like, oh, it's cool over here. It's like, no, nah, I mean, fuckers used to beat me up when I got <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't tell me it's all good. That's LA. Fucking have a helicopter on your ass and like. Yo, I never seen up. that shit like that. They straight drive the helicopters around like all day long. Yeah. That's so why I first came out here and I painted some spot and like an airplane or something flew by. Yeah. I try to yeah, I try to fucking hit the wall and like. <laughs> The guy looking at me like, you good? I'm like, I'm fucking the bird. He's like, there ain't no bird. There ain't no bird out here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking chase you over there with the light on you. Consafos. Means with respect. You gotta get this tattoo from somebody that has this tattoo. And it's like, you get your consafo. Basically means you're with the shit. Respectfully. You know, you know how to move. Jeez. I'm not with all that sneak dissing, chopper ripping off limbs and all type of teeth missing. Grand Reaper straight sweeper, boy, I'm knee deep in. Green and red beans, like I got these for Christmas. This nigga talking crazy, asking me where's bitch at. Talking all crazy, you know, around here we stitch slips, think team, baby. And I earned all my whiskers, bought Pippi long stocking, hanging out with extensions. That niggas don't match, niggas praying and they wishing. All type of scuffs, I should have never wore these Christians. Better yet, these niggas shouldn't have butted in my business. Man, me don't get the job done, my hit man relentless. Two, two, threes all up in the runway, nigga. LJ, MJ, jump man, nigga. Hit his kids if this nigga wanna pump fake, nigga. Just left Hills Kitchen with the lunch trays, nigga. Where was you when I hit jail? Yeah, Sante, nigga. S550, Coop, this ain't no Mustang, nigga. Dump 50, dump 50, fuck you talking about. Get courageous with your fingers, we're gonna talk you out. I'ma double park the Bentley at your mama house. Kill a nigga for these jewels, it's the Holocaust. Up 50, dump 50, fuck you talking about. Get courageous with your fingers, we gon' chalk you out. I'ma double park the belly at your mama house. Kill a nigga for these jewels, it's the holocaust Shoot a hundred niggas at the club, call that a holocaust I get red from my fiend for dope, that shit hardly cost One day, I bought a whole pint for a ball of soft Fuck this snake bitch for an outfit, I bought her Lacoste That bitch a reptile or something This dog won't stay hard for shit, erectile dysfunction Talking about I hit the shit too hard, I hardly touched it Baby K tied around my neck while I'm out in public what the fuck you talking about? LB ain't got no more runs, cause I bought him out. Heard her baby daddy got the bricks in a large amount. I'm finna break in this whole crib, bro, start her out. Up 50, dumb 50, fuck you talking about. Get courageous with your fingers, we gon' chalk you up. I'ma double walk the belly at your mama house. Kill a nigga for these jewels, it's the Holocaust. Up 50, dumb 50, fuck you talking about. Get courageous with your fingers, we gon' chalk you out. I'ma double park the belly at your mama house. Kill a nigga for these jewels, it's the Holocaust.
on average night you probably be hitting like five different things up. About. Or you guys go for like one big stomp. This dude's a machine. Five. He's like, I'd say three to six average night. Mm -hmm. See, I don't use it. Seattle has a lot of history, I feel like. You can't look anywhere in Seattle without seeing a fucking G-Ride tag. Mm -hmm. They're fucking everywhere. Or Washington, of course. Not tags. You got more <laughs> tags than everybody fucking ever. Yeah. My boy's like fucking out there like Rain Man, just tagging on everything. You can't take him anywhere. He ain't even, he ain't even allowed into his girlfriend's bar. <laughs> The 86. bathroom's gonna be tagged for show. Oh, describe the mirror. The middle of the mirror. <laughs> the the middle. 86 the middle. is <laughs> from the fucking bar. He can't help himself. Now I know what 86 means. My new favorite number. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about earlier in the car, bro, about like the, the Bay Area influence. Like, how do you feel like the Bay Area's influenced you up here? I mean, the Bay Area kind of like, uh, turned me into who I am today. You know, that trip specifically down there uh, and meeting all those guys and like watching them paint all day and all night. And it was just like, you know, especially in Oakland, like shit's a go. Mm -hmm. Daytime, nighttime, whenever you feel like it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I met so many people that were just painting constantly every day. And it was like, you know, they weren't on drugs. They weren't all fucked up. They were like genuinely solid people that did this kind of like recreationally, you know? And when I went down to the Bay and I still go down there and link up with those guys, it's like, uh, that's like one of those spots like New York to where it's like, that's where graffiti, you know, is made cool. <laughs> you ever go um, get up in San Francisco? Yeah, I got up in San Francisco a little bit. Me and G just, uh, yeah, I got we're down there uh, with Skate. Remember that? Yeah, rest in peace, Skate. Yeah. He was, a, he was pretty Bay Area influence, just like all the other cats you mentioned. Yeah. He pretty caught my attention and my eye out there and influenced me to paint. It was a blessing to paint with Skate, rest in peace, Skate. <laughs> but when me and Wes we decided, hey, let's just go to the Bay and, uh, so we we tried to hop on the train, right? We missed the train, so we took the bus to Portland. Long story short, we had to link it up with a Portland cat. We took the train to the bay. The, we took the freight train. Freight train. Yeah. We hopped on the motherfucking yeah. freight train. On the yeah, freight train. Yeah, yeah, we took the freight train down. Oh, savage. To mm -hmm. Portland. You got that free ride. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was hella cool. It was like camping. <laughs> yeah, we hopped on the freight train with like. All right, where we're gonna get? Let's get some snacks real quick, you know. Got a couple Lunchables and shit, Capri Sun, hopped on that shit. Anyways, we, we, we ended up out there and shit, and uh, ran a fucking U-Haul, racked some paint, racked some food. That shit was pretty fun, slept in the van, showered in the ocean, fucking causing havoc. And you made your way down to San Francisco. <laughs> Yeah, then we went to San Francisco. That shit was a blast, fucking. Yeah, we did those bar rooftops. hopping, hitting doing rooftops and shit. Fucking people ruining at us. It was a crazy night, right by the mission and shit. Shit's still running to the day, I believe. A lot of shit out there still running. Hell yeah! Shout out to the Bay. Straight letters, stompers, floaters. What 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 do people mostly do in Seattle? Shit, the throwies is the thing here. Yeah. Yeah. Seattle is like kind of like a, a grimy feel to it. There's my boy Bird, four or five. Big bad Bird. How do you find the perfect train to hit? Uh, just, I usually like the new ones. Uh, but I also like the rusty ones too. So it's like, I guess it feels what you're feeling that night. Okay. Like usually like the newer ones, like don't suck up much paint. It's like your paint lasts a little longer. Okay. Versus like a, a something that's rusty and like ashy, I guess. Uh-huh. That yeah. sucks up all your paint. I've always wanted, bro, 
when it comes to like painting trains you know how they have like the numbers and like the little boxes and i noticed like some writers they'll like leave those little numbers mm -hmm. do you think that matters at all like like the way it, like it'll run you know then maybe they'll buff it if they, they go over the wrong numbers on the trains and things like that or how do you feel about that or just yeah like, okay, i was just paying over it Everything. Well, I feel like it, like he should go around them because like it helps out like the workers like to identify like the uh, the car uh -huh. and like you know like I've seen like panels like get a big stamp and like you can't even like see those pieces and like those pieces will get gone over if they're stamped like that like somebody else is going to cap it yeah so it's like better just uh, just go around the numbers and like prevent that stamp from happening. Mm -hmm which helps out like some people put stickers on their like a uh, not stickers but a uh, tape on their numbers but i just just go around it what were you saying bro i forgot that's spaced <laughs> out is one of those moments <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It'll come back. we smoked a blunt <laughs> <laughs> You ain't artsier than me, cause you got sideburns and a vintage tee. I said, You ain't artsier than me, cause you pluck a guitar, that ain't fucking bizarre. You ain't artsier than me, cause you live in low speed list, bitch. You ain't Jesus, you ain't artsier than me. I got a colorful vocab, watch the low jazz. So, what you are vegan, it shows in your presence, you be geeking. And you've been seeking the same light, speaking the game like the enemy. Hang tight, I got a tale about six foot one by infinity. Full of sun, rain, and potential energy. All you saw were the case, Swiss clean, Chris crease jeans, means this. So you thought and dip my walk's hip, thoughts hipper, unzip the zipper. No, I don't wear him for drink liquor, and that don't make me the man just a little bit sicker. Spit kicker with a knife for the big dipper from a nylon cliff emerges a loud whisper. And I'm proud of this, it's my art. You doing yoga just to look the part. You ain't artsier than me, cause you chop up brakes and you dig in the crates. You ain't artsier than me, you're just a trendy lesbian, dreadlock despian. You ain't artsier than me, cause you make weed brownies and knit wool hats. You ain't artsier than me, you pseudo elitist, no school sap, 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 sap. Don't let an 808 scare ya Shake stripes off your shirt and clear the whole area I'm a humanoid too And if you're cool with me Then I'll look past the void in you Instead of through I'm down with VWs and flossed out caddies on 22s too I bang for good fools Kill for nothing I build for something Family and peace Hand me the peace I hit it I'm social Hear my opinion I'm proud I'm vocal Local in a foreign place More digital than dusty But trust me I be touring space You be whoring at a comfortable pace You be skipping a chore to jump in a race a blueberry cake. How many blueberry yeah. cake? One? Two. Two. Yeah, three. two of those. Three, three of those. Hey. Three of those. <laughs> So it's like the outer outline. Some uh -huh. people call it a force. Uh -huh. An outer, uh, a halo. My boy Hydra calls it a lasso. A lasso, yeah. <laughs> there's all kinds of names for it. Uh -huh. Every time you travel, you got to figure out which one like people understand. Uh -huh. Like a halo, an outer. Uh huh. What do you call it? A halo or an outer? Force field, yeah, see? You know who will be up at fucking 6 a.m. to get that? Rain City. Yeah? Yeah, the motherfucker is like, uh, he's on it. It's pretty Im impressive. We always joke, like, that's Rain City right there. He's already taking a picture. Garbage cans, tags, they will run. Yeah. They always run. Trash. Yeah.
Oh yeah. I seen you in R Primo earlier, yeah? Yeah, yeah. what you write? Zone what is it? Zone okay. Nice. Right. The West? Yeah, yeah. yeah the West? The West. Yeah. I see y'all around all the time. I look up to y'all. Damn, thank you. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Man, I snuck out tonight. I was like, I'm about to go hit this. And then I came down the block and I was like, damn, that shit's hard. Yeah, sick. Yeah, that spot doesn't last long. We, look, you seen this sweater, Mario? What's that? Look at this is wide sweater. Turn around. CKT. Uh huh. That's clean. With the Consalfos, like he just got the CS. Uh huh. You see it on the MM? Yeah. That means you've been putting, you put in work. Uh huh. Fuck, I was sweating by the time I got back. I forgot my fucking black. My burnt out out. Smoking too much weed. That's how you know it's good Washington weed is like when you get a little bit of Alzheimer's, you know? <laughs> to where like you're a little fucked up, you don't even remember what you're doing. That's how you know it's good weed out here, you know? I mean you stay up, man. Stay off drugs. I will. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, He's like, you like D? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, nah, it's cool. These young kids, it's like, uh, it's cool to be able to show them, like, you know, I'm not getting fucked up. I ain't smoking meth. I'm not like, you know, I'm living on the edge, but like, I got my shit together, yeah. you know, and this is fucking how I have fun. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not like uh, some scary, really bad thing, you know, even with like going out and filming with you guys and shit, like, I ain't paranoid. This is like a really good thing in my life. That's kind of why it's like coming from being a junkie, you know, I was strung out, I was on the streets, I was a fucking full on junkie. Now to like being off drugs, it's like I'm free for the first time. Everything you know I mean? is easy, yeah, you know, like yeah. I'm chilling now, like yeah. even with the, uh, you know, if I get arrested and go to jail for two days to me, that's no big deal. Yeah. You yeah. know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so graffiti is uh, something that's really healthy for me. It's how I stay off drugs, you know? That's what's up. Yeah. Do you think like graffiti is like a part of your life? It's a reflection of the society I grew up on and giving back to the streets and bouncing to the beat of the drum. Mm -hmm. Everyone follows and it's a melody that is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the streets is pretty fun. PC up at night. I like to walk around and shit. It's pretty quiet. And like, see other people follow and inspiring. As well as me being inspired, other people seeing people get up and shit. I think it's, it's a, uh, we all motivate each other to paint, which is the whole thrill of it. It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Damn all the planes we flew, good things we've been through Then I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place Ah, uh, how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last